Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I start with the great name of Allah, who is the most merciful and beneficent. Respectable guests, members, my dear brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum. I'm very thankful to NYF for providing us this opportunity to be here and empower today's youth. So the topic which I'm going to talk about is the youth of today are the leaders of tomorrow. We have all heard the old saying, don't be a follower, be a leader. Dealing with youth, I hope it is a second phase, but a leader must have a lead to follow. What does it take to be a true leader? Is this generation of youth prepared to take the lead of a movement that stands for positive change? Some are doubtful, believing that our children are too distracted with pop culture, video games, and reality shows to have a clue. The most successful movements were orchestrated by the youth. The civil rights era was a youth movement. Many of the historical states against unjust policies were initiated by college students. Today's generation have lost their way by being followers of dangerous threats. These distractions have lured them away from positive and more productive activities that will cultivate leadership skills. We are experiencing an alarming amount of violence, racial tension, and social injustices recently. I'm often surprised at how so few young people read newspapers, magazines, or even watch the news on television. Many are detaching themselves from the real world. Subsequently, this generation is becoming complacent by not paying attention to what is relevant and more important to the world. Reading and watching various news sources, paying attention to local, regional, national, and international events keeps the mind sharp. It also improves critical thinking and analytical perception. This will also help a person to discern the nonsense and deception that could mislead youth. What do we have to do to cultivate or transform today's youth into leaders? What are the qualities in our youth? Here are a few. Number one, courage. It takes courage to do the right thing when most of you appears to not. Number two, humility. Sometimes your personal agenda may conflict the needs of many. A true leader will make a selfless sacrifice. Number three, wisdom. A leader makes wise decisions that may not be popular but are in the best interest of those around him or her. If you are a young person, how 